Welcome to the programming hub and in this particular video tutorial I want to show you uh, the error which is encountered in a Laravel framework when you want to print out uh, images in the PDF and this error it is an exception which it tells you that uh, the PHP GD extension is required but it is not installed by default uh, when you are installing XAMPP it should be installed but then for some reasons it might not be enabled so the first technique which you can use just navigate open your file explorer go to uh, go to where you installed your XAMPP and then locate the PHP file under this particular PHP file, the files which we are interested in, they are these uh, two. But the one mostly we are, when we are developing uh, uh, the PHP applications, the one we mostly use it is the PHP uh, in development. Inside here, I want you to find what we call uh, GD extension. As you can see, there is a, a semicolon which is behind that particular extension. Just remove it and then make sure you save your work. And then you go, what you need to do, it is to go to the exam and restart the stop the Apache and my SQL, then restart them again. Equally, there is a time I've run into that particular pro problem. Uh, when you enable it from this particular file, when you have already installed the ZAMP, it doesn't work. So there is another technique that I'm going to show you how you can go around that. You also can go uh, to open your ZAMP panel, control panel, Go under the Apache, I want you to click on configure and what you want to configure it is the php.ini. So click on that, it will open. So here I want you to find what we call the GD uh, extension, uh, uh, GD extension. As you can see, even though even though we had enabled it from this particular uh, from this particular from this particular from this particular file it has even though we restarted the apache it has not been enabled here from here that is where the trick now comes in so the thing you need to do is to just also go to your control panel the ZAMP control panel, that is what I mean. Then under the Apache, I want you to open the PH, click on config, then it will bring up this pop-up menu, select the PHP into brackets php.ini, then click on that, it will open your notepad, then find what we call a GD extension. After you found that GD extension, also remove it from here. Save, make sure you save your work, then close, then stop the Apache, uh, then stop my SQL. You can now restart them and then proceed. That is how you can go about those two or two problems. I've also found that when you enable it from this particular when you go directly to this particular file and enable it from here, it usually doesn't work. For some reasons, you have to go also to the Apache under the config, you open the PHP, then from here you find the GD uh, extension, then you enable it from here. After you've removed the semicolon, make sure you stop the Apache and uh, my SQL, restart them. And if possibly, it requires you to restart your own computer. I hope this was informative to you developers uh, who have been encountering this problem and uh, don't know how to go about it. Thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
to my YouTube channel. Thank you.